I think balance by its very nature is something that's not sustainable. You know, the scale always tips in one direction. And I, I try to assess my life and is assess everything. Is there one everything. thing you like more than the, I mean, is real, is real, are you, is real estate really it? Or right now you have this huge lifestyle brand that's blowing up. I do. Real estate is, is my first passion. I mean, I, I grew up knowing that this was what I wanted to do. And, um, and my apparel and accessories brand really was, um, happened very organically as something that I saw a huge opportunity in. And it's been, it's been amazing for me to watch it grow. But you know, the way I look at everything is just about sort of managing priorities. So I like to think I'm where I need to be. And a lot of times that's with my children. A lot of times that's in an office. It's working on a deal and just sort of managing the ebbs and flows of you bring up an interesting point, though. That's that's not a question that we tend to get, ask men who come on. How much time do you spend with your children and the rest of it? And, well, and that wasn't even the question Andrew was asking. Yeah. But I, I saw you go to that place because it's the question we get asked a lot. Well, it's actually part of the reason I launched this campaign. And it, it launched when I launched my, my website, IvancaTrump.com, because I wanted to explore the idea of this working woman. And you don't refer to a man as a working man, yet a woman's called a working woman. And and I think oftentimes in, in media, that's depicted is very one-dimensional. You're either choosing to be in the workforce or you're choosing to stay at home. And I think the reality is this modern working woman is working hard at all aspects of her life and all her passions. And you know, the rise of technology enables us to be at three o'clock in the morning catching up on work because we left a little bit early to be there for dinner time with our children. Likewise, we're picking up the phone in the office and we're talking to our kids as they're um, leaving school. So I think it's just what's changed is it's sort of become one life. And I think this new woman is able to work in a workforce that celebrates the fact that, you know, we have interests and passions outside of so just the So what do you make of the Anne Marie Slaughter sort of world view, which is that you can't actually have that balance compared to the sort of Sheryl Sandberg, that there's a way to do it if you in the sort of lean in mentality? Yeah, so my approach is not to tell people how to live their lives or to sort of instruct them on what they should be doing at any moment. My approach is to celebrate the fact that we're really all the architects of our own lives and we have one life and you have to make it what you want it to be. And we all have different priorities. So for some that's working harder, for some that's working less. And you know, it's really just, it's really architecting the life you yourself want to live. Right.